Hey other signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. In today's reading, we're going to take a look and see what your tarot guides would like for you to know right now, what messages they have for you. Um, as always, it's general reading, so it may not resonate with everyone watching, and that's okay. Um, if you're after a personal reading, feel free to reach out and inquire. My email address is going to be listed below the video. Okay, firstly, let me just say that there is something here you've, you've misjudged or misread a situation. Okay, You're, you've judged this person too soon. You've misjudged them. You've misread, misinterpreted some sort of situation, or misinterpreting some situation that's going on for you here. Okay, bottom of the deck, you've got the hermit energy. Um, basically, I feel like... I feel like there's like a blocked energy here within you, um, blocked heart chakra, or just like this blocked energy, okay, you've, you've barricaded yourself in some way, or someone here has, someone very close to you, um, and I just think there's, so for example, there could be no contact or no communication with someone right now, and you think that this person stopped contacting you because they're not interested, or, you know, communication ended between you and someone here, um, it ended abruptly, it, went, it ended very quickly, and you, you might have had a, an argument beforehand that was, and things were never cleared up, and right now, you're under one impression, this person is under their impression, but then the truth lies somewhere in the middle, but both of you are too stubborn to kind of whack things out, or you're too stubborn to come together and, you know, talk things out, talk things through, so you have one idea of how things happen, the other person has another idea, you are interpreting the situation one way, the other person is interpreting the situation another way, or it just feels like because of where you're at right now, okay, there's something here you're not seeing, or something here that you're you're not necessarily understanding it, and it's purely because of the energy state that you're in. You're quite closed off, and you're, you're very blocked off right now, okay, and, or if it's not you, then it's someone very closely connected to you, and you're not really understanding something here only because yeah it just feels like you're misjudging the situation misinterpreting the situation and there's something here that you are not seeing okay and this thing could be right in front of you okay or it could be that you do not have access to this information you do not have access to this person therefore you don't have access to how this person thinks and feels about you and about the situation you might be too stubborn to communicate because you know you think this person wants something to do with you but in reality you know they're waiting to hear from you and you're waiting to hear from them and then nothing happens but it's just see how you're sort of and you're sort of closed off you're sort of closed off for reconciliation, you're closed off uh, from a resolution of some sort, or you're even closed off to reinterpreting a situation or reinterpreting a conversation of some sort. Notice with the, uh, the hermit, notice the hermit, he's got a lantern. In the lantern there's a shining, light, uh, shining star, the moon here in the corner with the two swords it provides um, a lot of luminancy in the night sky and the sun as well with the fool's card okay the sun also provides a lot of light and a lot of illumination okay so there's something key that you're not seeing okay or there's some information that you don't have access to um, and it just feels i don't know it kind of feels like you're a little bit too stubborn or it kind of feels like maybe you're not ready to see it Maybe you're not ready to confront the truth about this um, about this person or about this situation or about something here. Um, or maybe you don't have access to information. And so, you know, you can't help but think what it is that you think because this person has given you reason to think that way, if that makes sense. But basically, I feel like you're in the dark about something here. So if someone has stopped communicating with you, I don't think you know the full story. And don't jump to conclusions just yet, okay? Don't just think that there's a bad person that, you know, they're ghosting you or they stopped communicating with you. Um, 
or that it has something to do with you. I know you're personally involved with whatever this is. So, I mean, it can be really hard for you not to personalize it, right? We get it. But I just think that you don't know the whole truth. So don't jump to conclusions. And I do think some information is going to come to light over these next few weeks or over these next few months. It feels like you're interested and you want to know, but at the same time, it kind of feels like you're too scared because you there's something here that you're too scared of finding out about this person. Okay, um, or there's just something scared that you're, you're just too scared of confronting. But it does feel like there's some sort of information that's going to come in. It could be a phone call, it could be a text message from this person. You might hear about this person um, th through a friend. But there's something here that's going to... And it's about this person, it's about this situation that you're closed off to or that you've misjudged or you're misinterpreting. And it's going to kind of shake you. It's kind of going to, like you're finally going to understand that you misjudge them. Or that you are just, you jump to conclusions way too soon, way too quickly. Or that, you know, you've misread them, you misread the signs, you misread the situation. It's kind of going to, like, you're kind of, you're not going to feel silly, but you're going to be like, oh, okay. <clears throat> it's that kind of energy where you kind of, it kind of shakes you, kind of rattles you. And you may have some regrets about how things ended between the two of you or how you treated each other. You may have some regrets about how, you know, you jumped to this conclusion. Um, but yeah, some sort of new information or something that is hidden is coming to the light. Is coming into the light, okay? Is, com is it surfacing? See, because deep down inside, you know this... So if someone has stopped communicating with you, okay, you kind of, you know, you're very quick to believe the worst. Or, you know, you're very quick to jump to a conclusion there. But deep down inside, you kind of kind of intuitively feel like something's off. Or you can intuitively feel like something's not right here. But you don't really know the full story. And so, you know, when you, you weren't given closure about this thing or about this person, you, because to help you, you start drawing up closure of your own, but it ends up being completely different to what you think. Okay, so why this person stopped communicating or, you know, whatever it is that you've misinterpreted here, it just ends up being almost the opposite of what it is that you're thinking and feeling here. There's new beginnings that are showing up for you here as well. I'm seeing that there's some a new beginning. It could be with a past person, okay, or it could be with a new energy, but um, or yeah, it could be someone new that's stepping into your life, or it could be like you stepping into a new beginning, okay? Because I just feel like there's um, the fool brings in this energy of newness. He brings in this energy of excitement. The fool isn't anchored. He's not attached to anything, okay? So. He's quite a nomadic kind of energy. He's constantly on the move here. And the message that I get for you strongly is there is a new beginning that's coming in for you, but it's going to require some sort of move of some sort. It could be a physical move, okay? So it might mean that you might have to move homes or places or, you know, jobs. You might um, move locations in some way. Um, could be moving countries or, you know, states, cities here. Or it just feels like you have to step into a new energy. Okay, so if things are not working out for you right now, relationship-wise, career-wise, or just things aren't working out in general, it could be because of this Two of Swords energy. Okay, you might be blocked off. Maybe your heart chakra is blocked and it needs, you know, opening. Maybe you're blocked off, you've... Um, closed yourself off to everyone and everything you've closed yourself off to relationships to beginnings to opportunities and you know you can't expect because you're in this closed off energy you can't expect to, for things to happen if you're closed off to things happening if that makes sense so the full card could be indicating that you might be needing to you know shift into a new energy step into a new energy into an energy that is more open, that is more embracing, an energy maybe that's more even understanding. 
Okay, but however you interpret this move and however you personalize it to your situation, there is some sort of move that is required or there is a move that is tied into a new beginning for you. And it feels very exciting. It feels exciting because you don't know what this is and it's something you might not necessarily have planned for. Or it feels exciting because it's like the fool. He doesn't have things figured out. But that's a part of, you know, what's really exciting about this journey that he's on. Okay, because, you know, he's not necessarily sure what lies ahead. I mean, look at him. He's on the verge of a cliff. He's about to, you know, launch himself off this cliff and he doesn't seem to even know it. But he's not faced by it. He's not faced by, you know, whatever comes next. He's embracing the unknown. He's embracing the adventure. And your tarot guides right now would like for you to embrace, okay? Embrace the uncertainty that maybe you're feeling, okay? The em Embrace the, maybe the unknown that you're stepping or have stepped into. Because that is going to lead to this. And this feels like a new beginning, a new relationship, a new energy. And once you shift, you know, yourself from one energy state to another, you know, once you go from being closed off to being more open, you, you know, not only does your heart chakra start opening, but you also start opening yourself up to love and to opportunities and to possibilities around you. Okay, opportunities and possibilities that maybe you previously were closed off to. Um, there's a lot of growth okay if you're going through something that's uncomfortable right now okay and, and maybe that's why you're closing yourself off to maybe that's just your response to you know if you're going through things that are comfortable right now maybe that's the response that you're feeling to all this growth that's happening within you embrace it okay because you're growing through what it is that you're going through all right these are your messages thanks guys for watching and listening um, please show your attention. Uh, please show your love and support to the channel by liking, sharing, and subscribing. Bye for now.